fluoride is a poison that we're being told that we it would be good for our dental prevention or dental hygiene to prevent cavities if we had it put in our water, which is a complete lie. It's actually a poison that has no use unless it's topically used. It has, if it's put into your body, it will cause skeletal fluorosis where your joints will break down over time. It will cause lowered IQ. There's absolutely no benefits. It, it only started getting put into water because the aluminum industry and phosphate industry had such huge amounts of fluoride byproducts that they had to find a way to put it into the environment with the public's acceptance. The only way they could do that before was rat poison. So now they started telling us it's good for our teeth so that we can put it in our water so they can move more of it away from the industry. awareness to the city of Portland that the vote is coming up this May and we do not support adding fluoride to the water because it's not really fluoride but it really is it's fluorosalicylic acid which is a byproduct of the fertilizer industry which has been found to have a lot of negative effects there's a lot of research coming up lately that shows that it decreases the IQ in kids that it creates it's bad it can create a bone cancer um, Double fluorosis, the list goes on. Uh, so, yeah, we're just out there for this. Great. Um, yeah, yeah, I mean, the general public is still under the impression that fluoride is good for you. Mm -hmm. And we're trying to make sure that we get enough information out to cause doubt so that they can realize it's not a best idea before it's time to vote, which is this May. Yeah. And um, you, you are a mother, right? Um, yeah, I have an well. eight year old daughter. Yeah. And so, bad for kids too, obviously. So. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the exact people that they're claiming to help are really the people that are most at risk. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, infants that are fed uh, uh, formula made with fluoridated water are getting a much higher concentration than, say, an adult male that's 220 pounds. And that's one of the things that you can't, you can't control the dose when it's in water. And to me, that's just really dangerous. Yeah, I, I, I agree. Besides the fact of, I mean, mass medicating, a doc, they're, they're letting the, you know, the city council has a power that a doctor doesn't have. You know, like a doctor, even if they know it's going to save your life, can't make you take the medicine. Yeah. And when the city council votes to Florida, that's exactly what they're doing. You yeah. know, and it's, there's a real, uh, that's a really confusing aspect for me. Yeah. All right, well, thanks for, um, thanks for being here today. Yeah, yeah. Bono and May. It's good to see you again. You too.